channel. Today I'm going to be doing something that I've been getting quite a bit of requests for. So I'm going to walk you through all the products I use for my everyday hair routine. And I just got out of the shower, I have my robe on, but as you can see my hair has quite a bit of curl in it. About twice a year I get the Brazilian blowout which really helps smooth and keep away the frizz. But if your hair is naturally curly and you plan to do it straight every day, then I recommend doing that because it will take the amount of time that you spend blow drying on your hair. And ever since I cut my hair, I feel like it's been so much more low maintenance for me. And when I had long hair, my hair took forever to blow dry. And I was spending so much time, you know, styling it and then curling it after I smoothed it. But this way has been way low maintenance. And a lot of people said that when I cut my hair, it's actually going to be more work. But I was already spending a lot of time doing my hair anyway, so this has been really nice and I love it for that reason. So first I'm going to use this comb to brush out my hair. And it has this pick thing at the bottom, which is easy to part my hair. Basically I just use it to part my hair down the center, I already did that. And I just go through it and brush it out. And then with the short hair, it doesn't really get tangled very often, so that's been super easy to brush out my hair. Next I spray this. The Aveda Brilliant Damage Control. This is a thermal heat protectant spray. This also protects from UV damage. And if you're going to be doing any heat styling on your hair, definitely use a heat protectant. I feel like it seals that in versus like burning your hair. So I just spray this all over. I don't like my hair curly and short at all. So I know that I'm going to be wearing it straight every day. And I'm not going to ever do my hair like this. I don't really love the look. So I use the dry bar. I don't know, regular blow dryer. It's been through quite a bit. Even when I take it traveling with me, I thought I blew it out one time with not using the right converter when I was in Europe, but it survived and it just like got like really melted on the side. But this has been really good. I've tried other blow dryers and I seem to just go back to this one. Also, I use this round brush from Sephora. This one is pretty old too. I think I need to update my tools, but it works and I haven't had a reason to replace it. And basically I'm just, I'll show you before I turn it on, but basically I just pull through my hair. I go like this and I pull it down. So I'm going to turn it on and show you, but I really try to keep it smooth as much as I can with the blow drying. That way when I flat iron, it doesn't take me as long. And I also put it on the highest heat setting to make sure that I'm, it's drying faster, but that's why the protectant spray is really important. As you can see, it's getting straighter, but I was going to show you a technique that I've done for underneath my hair because the pieces under here are a lot shorter, so they tend to be, I guess, like curl up a lot faster too. So I really, so I really try to get under there and pull those really tight just so they're as smooth as possible. And the whole time I'm curling under with my hair, I don't like it to flip out especially with the blow dry because once it's blow dried however it curls in the bottom it's really hard to style it after that for me so i like to always curl it under now that i have my hair blow dried you can see it still has body but it kind of flips out still but it's a lot smoother that all took me probably under 10 minutes which is nice because before my hair used to take about a half an hour to blow dry because i would just constantly pull it and the ends never seemed as healthy because i also used to bleach them when i did the ombre so having the all one color really just helps my ends be so much more healthier and i feel like that also helps the blow dry time not be not as long so i'm using the ghd platinum flat iron and this one from what i researched is pretty good as far as not really burning your hair that much and it has like the rounded edges so it doesn't have any like crisp lines and also heats up really really quick so that's nice but before i flat iron i'm going to use the living proof instant protection this is also another heat protectant but i really like this one for before flat ironing so i spray it on i take the same comb that i was using before but basically i'm going to put the comb through it first to just get it that extra smooth and just go down and kind of curve it under same thing. Typically I put this on the counter. It's gonna go all over with the smooth. I'm literally dripping sweat right now. The only thing about blow drying that I don't like is how sweaty I get. So yeah, basically I'm just gonna go all over my hair like this. It just gives it that added shine. 
And also you can do it piece by piece if you wanted to like take a little bit longer on it. You can do the spray and then do this for each piece, but I just feel like that takes me a little bit longer. So I'm in a rush, I just spray mainly the ends. But I feel like this flat iron, flat iron, God, I can't say it, keeps my hair looking shiny, which is a combination of the products, but also I think it's the way the plates are. I feel like it makes it shiny and smooth. I think it's good to invest in good tools or you're gonna be spending more time just like pulling at your hair. And, oh, I think I need to take a break, I'm sweating so bad. Whew. Now, as you can see, this is the final look. Once I, I'm gonna show you too, like underneath, I make sure to get really that straight too because that's like what I said before is that's the one that actually curls up the most. So I just go throughout my hair and I just curl it under then you can see that it definitely looks a lot smoother and a lot more straight. Then, kind of to finish the look, I put this Amika Undone Texture Spray. And I just kind of put it like all over just to give it more of like an, un, I guess an undone look, just like what the title is. But I do like my hair the next day better after I, like when I go to bed and then wake up the next day, I like it when it's like a little dirty in a way. I feel like it just looks better. So with my workout routine, I try to like today I went in the morning, so then when I do my hair, it's all ready for today. And then I'll go later tomorrow night. So that way I can leave my hair both for two days and try to not wash it as often. I don't want to be washing my hair every day. So trying to give it like that lived in look is also better for your hair too. So once I spray this in, sometimes I'll go over it again like a little bit with the flat iron. Especially on the first day because I feel like it's a little bit still like bigger. But I'll just do like the areas that I feel like need more. Like this always like flips out in the back. You can like put it behind your ears and there you go there is my everyday short hair hair care routine <laughs> styling but it's super easy and i think if you're considering cutting your hair you should definitely do it for this season it i feel like it's way more in style than it was ever before so if you're trying out something new it's definitely low maintenance as far as what i've experienced with it and just getting the right tools will make your life so much easier so all the products i use in the video are linked below and I also will link the Brazilian blowout where you can find a salon near you that does it if you're interested in trying it out. I feel like it's really helped my hair with the getting ready time and also to protect against the heat. So let me know if you guys want to see other hair routines. Maybe I can do something about like the styles I do besides just leaving it down. And comment below. Also, I would love if you guys would subscribe if you like this video. And I will see you next week. Every Thursday we're having a new video up. So I'll see you guys later.